Don Quixote, performed in two acts, marked the Cleveland Ballet's long-awaited return to Playhouse Square for the first time in 20 months. Dancers took to the stage since the pandemic brought live indoor performances to a halt. Our ballet career actually doesn't like when you stop. <laughs> Every single day, day counts. I was thinking about uh, stop dancing and do something else. Husband and wife dancers Narik Marchavarsayan and Albina Gazarian were grateful to be dancing again. The couple and Narik's nephew Emmanuel were idle for months when their company, the New Jersey Ballet, shut down. Time was running out on their careers. I'm not going to dance anymore because everything was just shut down. I became a full-time teacher, basically. A social media group announcing auditions in Cleveland offered hope. And then I saw the post looking for dancers, and I saw this uh, opportunity. A Zoom meeting with the Cleveland Ballet produced an instant connection. The feeling that I knew them for a very long time helped me to make this decision to come here. In August, the trio came to Cleveland for a formal audition, which coincided with Albina's birthday. They had a cake for me, my name on it. It was very touching, honestly. <laughs> the auditions, a success. So the family moved to Northeast Ohio, where they made their debut over the summer and also danced in Vermilion, home of the company's summer residency. Those first performances, helping to ease some of the stress and emotional turmoil of the last year and a half. I enjoy dancing with my wife because I know anything I do wrong, she can fix it on a stage. This weekend, they are on stage again for the Nutcracker, thankful in this holiday season for a new home and a new extended family. Since the first day I, I walked in here, everybody was just super friendly, like super welcoming. I felt like I know this, these people for a long time. Lydia Aspara, 3 News.